Alrighty, so um, why e-commerce? So many niches available under that one million mark. So, and I've actually got a, a slide coming up on this, you know, whether it's, do you try and build the Amazon.com, you know, the Walmart.com, that sort of thing, or do you try and build the, say for example, just, you know, uh, vacuum world um, for the, um, we've got everything vacuums for the vacuum enthusiasts, you know, that sort of, that sort of thing. Um, you're more likely to rank and get free traffic for your vacuum world than you are for I sell everything. You know, Google's not going to rank that. But vacuum world, if it's starting to get like good traffic and, and you know, that sort of stuff um, and it's a trusted, reputable site, good content, unique images, then um, you'll start to rank, you know, for, for vacuums, for people with buying intent, vacuum type type terms. I just sort of hit on something there a minute ago where... If you buy stock from a supplier, and this is a thing that a lot of people don't know, um, if you buy stock from a supplier and then you put that on your website and you grab their exact description and you grab their exact image and you put it on there, to Google, what they're going to look at and say is, oh, here's this headline description. Have we seen that anywhere else before? Um, yes, it's there and it's on these 28 other sites. Okay, ignore all of it. None of that ranks. Okay, here's this image. Have we seen that exact image before? Yes, the original one is over there. Okay, ignore that image. It doesn't rank. Does that make sense? So you could think, wow, you know, we've built out this 58-page site. You know, we've got all these amazing products. I wonder why Google's not ranking us. And the reason why is because you have to take that content, you, you know, even if you have to strip the site back down to, to bear a bit, take the content from the supplier and, you know, in my case, Greg guys that, you know, re rework it, you know, why we love this and all that sort of stuff. And then the image, you can still use their image because it's a lot easier than going and, you know, getting your own photo guy to come in or whatever. If you've got a decent sized store, you don't get me wrong, you're better off having the lights and all the photo stuff yourself. But getting started, you could take their image and then put it in Photoshop. And so say, for example, it was a picture of a, you know, of a, a male model sort of pointing this way and then you can use Photoshop to flick it around so that it's, you know, sort of done that way. You know what I mean? That sort of thing. And that's enough that it will change it and Google will say, you know, when it gets to that image, you know, here's the unique, here's, oh, the, have we seen this image before anywhere? No, this is it. You know, that sort of thing. So little, little catches, but it's worth knowing because otherwise you can be doing all this work and Google just goes ignore, ignore, ignore. That's how the SEO works in the e-commerce world. Okay, so, but I went off on a, I went off on a tangent again, like one of my rants. But I think that was an important rant, hey, because you could be doing a whole bunch of stuff and not even, and not even, not even know. So, all right, so many, many opportunities. Um, there's a barrier to entry with suppliers, etc. And you might think, you know, how is this an advantage? And the reason why it's an advantage is because it's not so easy for people to do. Like, so for example, I had to learn how to import from China. Um, which really wasn't that hard anyway, but um, it definitely is a, a barrier to entry. Um, it's not like you know putting out an ebook about um, about something. It, someone else can just re pretty much clone it very very quickly. So there's a barrier to entry. Um, maths and psychology. There's not much persuasion uh, required. Like I was saying, I'm researching at the moment. I need to get a good digital SLR. So I'm not waiting for someone to, you know, wow me with their sales content, you know, on the page. I'm at the moment I'm doing the reviews and trying to figure out what one I want to buy. And then once I've done that, I'll just buy one from somewhere I trust. That sort of thing. So there's not much persuasion required. They're coming there to buy already. And then the last one is high value per visitor. Meaning because they're coming there to buy, they're not just browsers. Um, yeah, you can uh, you can make more money from this sort of site than a traditional website in, um, at times. All right, and m niche market versus mass market. We already spoke about this. The world doesn't really need more, you know, Amazon.coms and and that sort of thing. That's sort of already that horse has bolted. But there's no reason why you can't, you know, um, own own your area, especially if you've already got a physical store and you're buying already well, you know, from suppliers. Then Getting it into, you know, uh, creating an online version of it can, can do really well. Um, and we often see where the online store overtakes the, you know, the physical store. Um, so...